the father threw his son into the cage, but what the bear did was surprising. Around the village people started to notice the bear, at first it was walking alone, out of sight and trying not to be caught, only those who went fishing at 4 am were watching from a distance in the low woods. The bear ran and hid his face in the grass thinking no one could see him so he wouldn't get caught. Country people are used to such things, which is why they don't notice the bear. The most important thing is that it doesn't touch anyone, and it doesn't hurt anyone, in winter, it sleeps on time. This is called hibernation, it doesn't hang around, it doesn't hurt anyone, and no one hurts it, even the village dogs don't hurt it either. At first the dogs barked at his presence, then they got used to it and just grunted a few times without looking up. And as time went on the brown bear became bolder and started walking around the village dump. They let the bear crawl into the garbage to choose what to eat, the dogs got used to his presence and they didn't chase him away. And then one spring, it turns out that now it's not just a bear. But there's a cub here, because next to the big footprints on the sandy road leading to the river they saw small footprints, the naked cubs seem to be born during winter hibernation of. This is unlikely to happen to experienced adult bears as they don't roam the trails casually and don't leave marks, so these are usually either very young or very old bears, but here judging by the footprints, they just walk on the sandy road, which means they are comfortable in complete safety. So it is difficult to figure out who is the father of the baby, there are no other bears around, bears have a special constitution. A female bear can carry fertilized eggs and keep them in her body for a long time, waiting for the right time to give birth and give birth to a child. If the conditions are not good, it may not reproduce at all. So, it turned out that the bear lived around probing the ground, and she gave birth to the cub after she made sure the situation was right, but the surprises didn't end there. One of them was lucky enough to see them by the river. And there was not one but two cubs, and news of the twins soon spread throughout the village, and these things caught the attention of hunters or scientists. The zoologists came and they attacked the bear and captured the cubs. They said they took them to the zoo and they didn't have enough to feed them. Afterwards, the villagers heard the miserable cry of the mother bear. She literally roared all block day for a month. The mother whose child was taken from her was in grief and out of grief she decided to take revenge or just be a wild bear. So she became unafraid anyone. She climbed into the garden and ravaged other people's property. She even tried to attack some dogs and hurt them. It didn't just happen at night, people got scared. What does she want? The villagers asked themselves, actually they know the answer, and such a betrayal will not be punished, well, people are such beasts, they will never admit guilt, the villagers have only one way to solve everything. Take a gun and shoot it, so they decided to get rid of the bear that was rampaging under the garden, but they didn't kill it, it was just hurt, hurt, anger and grief all poured into the poor animal and what could be worse than that. However, after the bear ran away from the gunpoint, no one saw it again, it must have gone into the forest and died from the gunshot wound, it was people's decision, but they didn't know that the bear was lucky. She lived in the forest, she was rescued by an old woman who lived alone, she was considered a weirdo by all the locals. She didn't communicate with people, it was known that she only collected food and herbs by herself, what was she doing or who was cured? People don't care. The old woman lives in a bomb shelter that is said to have been left by partisans during the war. In fact, the old woman herself is apparently a widow from the war. People thought Mama Bear died because of her wounds, they thought she was killed but she recovered so she stayed there with the old woman. Maybe the old woman was frightened or something so she didn't communicate with others. It is impossible for the villagers to know the truth, the old woman treated the mother bear alone, maybe she felt her sadness, and the bear also felt the loneliness of the old woman, so they decided to live together in the old woman's old house there, the bear became obedient. 
and she was almost tamed, except that in some cases the woman avoided people by herself, and she seldom went to the village. And she only walks on the outskirts and is very cautious, but the situation has improved because the bears don't leave marks like they used to now. The villagers later built a hospital on the outskirts of the village, and the bears like to go to their dump most of the time, because there's a lot of waste there. Villagers are not used to hospital food, and they often don't eat steaks or side dishes. The hospital has two departments. One for clinical patients with everything from coughs to broken bones, and the second for the maternity department, where babies are born, which is known for its corruption. They do abortions for those who need it. Even people from outside the village come to this department if they need an abortion. There is a girl who works as a prostitute in the village. She often gets pregnant and does abortions three times a year. On this last occasion, the doctors refused to operate on her. They told her that it was too dangerous and she could not continue. The girl was very firm with her decision so after a while she came to the hospital again and threatened the nurses that if they refused to operate on her she would complain to the governor about what they were doing at this hospital. The nurses were terrified. They told the girl's story to the attending doctor. The doctor refused at first, but the girl's husband gave offered him a bonus so he finally accepted and they operated on her but it was very dangerous because the baby was six weeks. After they finished the operation they heard the baby screaming and they were all freaked out so the old nurse called the baby's father and told him what happened. But he ordered her to throw the baby in the trash so they the child was thrown alive in the trash, and at night the bear came. When the bear saw the child, she bit him in her mouth, and took him to the old woman who lived with her, and when the old woman saw the child, she almost fainted, and she squeaked and moved, the bear was clearly still missing her cub. Her maternal instincts kicked in and she pulled the cub out of the trash to save him. The old woman wrapped the baby up to keep him warm and put him in the oven, and you heard me right, she put him in the oven, but that wasn't a bad thing, in fact. There was a ritual to put premature birth and debilitated babies were wrapped in dough, leaving only their noses out to breathe, and they were left in the oven overnight. The temperature inside the dough is like in the mother's womb and the baby can recover. Apparently our old woman knows how to bake this dough properly, whether long or short, her deeds or magic are effective on the baby. The old woman knew what was going on in the hospital, she decided to send a complaint to Moscow to investigate them, and they really came, and closed the hospital and handed over the nurses and doctors to the relevant authorities to investigate. Together the old woman and the bear decided to raise the little child and he grew up and became a beautiful child with red hair like his mother and he became a strong and handsome young man who was famous in the village, rumors about his red hair spread in the village. They said that this man was the son of Martha, who was a prostitute, and when Martha heard the news, she decided to make sure. She came to the old woman's hut and wanted to know the young man's story from her, but the old woman refused to meet her. After waiting in the rain for three days in front of the old woman's hut, the old woman decided to meet Martha, listen to her story, Martha told the old woman that she felt guilty when she knew her baby was born alive and they threw it in the trash. She decided not to do that kind of dirty work anymore, she became a seamstress, and even she kept trying to help anyone who needs help, however the villagers never accept her and always think she is a whore, Masha begs the old woman to accept her, let her see her son and ask her forgiveness. The old woman accepts, the young man having also accepted his mother and forgave her, they ended up living with his mother and the new bear cubs, now replaced by young men to protect them. Thank you for watching, please give us a like and share this video on social networks. We will reply you as soon as possible.